Hey guys, Comic Balls here from American Media. I'm joined with my co-host. Hey, your name, boy. What's up, everybody? Demon Engine here, back in the flesh, and my beautiful face all on camera. And today we are talking about the second episode of the last episode. Hit the intro. All right, so just like The Walking Dead has The Talking Dead and all, them, all the other shows have, like, a discussion thing afterwards, we are going to do this for every episode of The Last of Us. Uh, and today's sponsor is Naughty Dog. <laughs> Not really, but let's act like they are. And we got some of their awesome links down below. Hit the links, buy the game, the book. The graphic novels, the comics. We got all that down below for y'all. All that. Uh let's get into it. So we see the uh the first episode, first uh second episode opening shot is Ellie uh waking up yeah. in the middle of a building, surrounded by flowers with the sun shining on her. Very like, like very scenic and peaceful. It, it's very scenic and peaceful. Then she look over and she got a gun pointed at her. <laughs> and it's Joe ready to blow her little ass away if she starts sprouting anything or moving all kinds of weird. That little girl was going to die. Game was going to be over. Go to credit. Oh, credits. But if you play the game or you watch the, the, the series, you know that that's not going to happen because she's our savior. She's the one that has the magic blood. Imagine. I'm gonna, uh, gonna uh, get rid of the clickers. Speaking of, this is our first time actually seeing them, Bruh, I wasn't. I wasn't okay hearing the clickers. Not even seeing them, just hearing the sound. Just the hearing that triggered the first time I saw. Uh, like had to deal with that in game. I was just like, nope, not okay. Mm-mm. Brought back a little trauma, right? <laughs> Silence. Not quite. Silent. Right. That's that's what uh Joe said to Ellie as they're moving through the museum. When when they realized it was a fresh body there, so we got clickers, he said, Look, silent. Not quiet. Silent. That's and I was wondering how they was gonna look. And even though like you could kind of like got a glimpse. Of it in the trailers and stuff, I was not prepared. I, they were really spot on with the way the, the, the clickers look. Like the design, mm-hmm. the actual detail in the fungi that, like, you don't get to see in the game. Like, you can tell it has the hard fungus plates on it, but you don't get to see in full detail like you do actually get to see in the show. And the fact right. that they're ardent. Right. This is not, so, I don't need to see you, but you can't you can't double tap my ass. Yeah. So 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 last last episode we talked about it. Um, that the people know that they don't have sight because secondly they don't have faces. It's just mm-hmm. a, a a huge disgusting looking fungus where a head would be. God, that that thing gave me like, uh, just uh, the willies all over looking at that in, in real life. The game was one thing. We seen how a person could actually look like that in real life. Give me the willies. Gives me the willies. And I'm really thinking about going gluten free for the rest of my life because of this goddamn show. <laughs> and your boy like bread, but I don't know. This thing kind of freaked me out. So, so we uh we we move on when we see the clickers and Joe Ellie 
and uh, Joe Front. I forgot her name. Tess. Tess are moving through the museum and they get attacked. Right there. They get attacked right. by the clickers. Joe and Tess get separated, and they both come out. They both survive, kinda. And and Ellie Ellie gets bitten again. Like a little bite or a little scratch. It's like a like a little hole on her arm when she had got bitten there before. To to let Joe and Tess know, like, look, I'm straight. I'm good. It's my second time getting bit and I'm not terrible. Mm -hmm. But Tess, Tess wasn't yeah. so lucky this time. Ah. RIP. RIP, but Poor she went out with a bang though. She went she out with the, she went out with the, when the zombie came up and then just 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 getting kissed by a zombie with all them fungal tendrils just hanging out there. <laughs> so so if you don't know uh fungus communicate they talk they have their own communication system. It's called mycelium, and it's all throughout the planet, right? This is real. This, this, this is a real thing. So in a, so in a uh, scene, one of the people who got bitten and killed was coming back, and Joe shot him. And before he died, he communicated through the mycelium that, hey, these holes is over here. It's time to come eat. And we're talking dozens, if dozens. not a hundred of the clickers woke up and it's zombie time. They all woke up and started haul assing to come get that child. By this time, Tasha realizes that she's bitten and she's turning. And she's yeah. and she's gonna sacrifice herself to save Joe and Ellie. And and when the zombies bust in, one of the zombies walk over to Tess while she's trying to set the building on fire and blow it up. And he kisses her. He kisses her. <laughs> and but you and you literally see the spores travel from his mouth into hers. They showed that shit. Didn't need to see it. Didn't need to see it. Didn't they could have implied it. Would I, I would have understood. <laughs> Her finally getting that lighter lighter on. That that was an act of defiance, right? <laughs> <laughs> Defying the mycelium network. Yeah, yeah. Tess Tess blows herself up along with the dozens of clickers, hundreds of clickers, and and Joe and. Ellie is able to get away. And this is where I believe the the, the series actually starts. Yeah. I think so. I think this is now where it starts. We should be getting more of uh, diving in more into the game because this, this, all this fairly happens within like the first hour or so into the game, right? Really, first hour, a couple hours into the game so far. Do do I'm I'm trying to remember, but do Tess even make it out with you? Like, does she leave with you? I don't think she leaves with you in the game, right? No, uh, I can look it up. Yeah, I don't think Tess makes it out with you in the game, but. As good as uh, Neil Druckmann is, who's like the go between between Naughty Dog and uh, the people uh, putting on the, the the series, they had uh, took Tess out with Joel and them to to give her more depth and and to give Joel a reason to take Ellie with them to to whatever destination they have to go to. Because Joe did not have a reason. 
He wanted to go the fuck back home. Wanted to go home. Turn her little ass in and go live his life. If it wasn't for Tess, like making Joe like, look, this little girl got picked twice and she's good. Like she's the future. Like we need her. And you need her. If it wasn't for Tess, this show would not have started. <laughs> Game would not have started. So, so RP to test, RP to a to a uh, to a real one. Like I said, I believe right. the bitches now. RP to a lot of them. Right. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of bodies in this show. <laughs> Zombies and other was. I mean, if you play the game, I believe they're going to take some liberties, but they can't take much. The game just doesn't call for It's pretty linear. Point A, point B. So, we'll see. Uh, we, we got to see a clip of the next episode of Dr. Uh, Rain Wilson's character. I know. Uh, I, I, I want him to survive, but I know he. I don't know. I know he. I know he not. And that's the sad part. I mean, this the, this series is definitely giving me giving me Walking Dead vibes. Yeah. Like, I will say, if you haven't played the game, I don't you say you expect your favorite character, but like, if, if, if you know if you know actors. You see them in last. Expect your favorite actor to die in that. If it's not Joe or Ellie, don't get attached to nobody else. Don't get attached. Don't, don't get save attached to nobody. yourself. They all, they all, they all gonna die. I mean, this is definitely giving me Walking Dead vibes. Like they set you up to care for these people, and then they're gonna turn them into a zombie or get killed by some bandit. That's, that, that's pretty much the flavor that that that, that we're going with for the series. Yeah. No. All right. It, it's it's looking like a good series, and I can't wait for the next episode. It's right. it's actually making me want to download Last of Us, even though I refuse to play Last of Us too. <laughs> why? Wow. Joel. Joel. Joel's the reason why I don't want to play Last of Us too. Okay, I get it. I understand. All right, y'all. That's our time. We don't want to keep y'all up. I know you like us. We just got done watching this past 10, past the bedtime. Yeah, uh, it's past your bedtime. It's past your bedtime, too, man. How, how, how do you feel about the series so far? Second second episode going in. Third episode going in. So far, I like it. Even if it uh, ends up being like almost a one-to-one to the game. Right. So far, uh, so far, I like it. I enjoy seeing it in an actual live action because some there's certain games that are done in a way where you could have them as live action. And this is clearly one of them. Shout out to uh, to uh, Neil Druckmann. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It was it was good. It was good seeing the Clippers for the first time. It just uh that 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 mushroom face. I hate. I mean, I love how it looks. It's beautiful, but I hate how it looks. It just, it just gets under my skin, crawls under my skin. So, uh, I'm not looking forward to, to seeing them again. Now I want somebody to draw like a clicker body, but with a toadstool head on it. Right. Uh, <laughs> that's that's more digestible. That's more digestible. Just seeing. Uh, toadstool with a little with, with a little bit of spores on my skin. I could do that. I could do that. All right. Like you said, we won't take your time up. Also, like I said, uh, click the link below. Get you some uh some last of us uh merchandise. The game if you haven't played it. Don't know why if you haven't. Uh, how many books? Yeah, it's it's old at this point. It got like it got a, I think a remake or a remaster and everything. A remaster. They're going, they're going to milk it same way as Bethesda is doing Skyrim. Hopefully not in the same way. That Hopefully not in the same way. 
That, that They're is, trying to take his blood point, from the stone. At this point, Sky Five is is a, an eleven year scam. Right. Right. All right, y'all. We out. That's our time. See y'all next episode. Peace. Peace. Hi, everybody. This is Corey Salter True Floyd for Mary B Media, and I hope you enjoyed this podcast video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to check out our other videos right over here. You have a good one. See you around.